Pavel Durov, the founder and CEO of Telegram messaging app was arrested at the Bourget airport in Paris on Sunday. He arrived in Paris from Azerbaijan. Durov was in Azerbaijan's capital Baku this week, in the same period that Russian President Vladimir Putin paid an official visit to the South Caucasus Republic. The 39-year-old who has a French citizenship was traveling aboard his private jet during the arrest, TF1 said on its website. Durov might face charges related to terrorism, money laundering and drug trafficking. If convicted, he may face 20 years in prison. Offman, the national directorate of the French Judicial Police, had placed an arrest warrant on the businessman. The operation in Kursk Oblast has become a pleasant vacation for Ukrainian fighters who were transferred there from the hell of Donbass. They told journalists from the British publication The Times about this. Compared to there, it's like a holiday. When we arrived, I had a smile like the one in the toothpaste ad. We felt euphoria, relief, laughs Sergei. 30, whose unit was ordered out of the trenches of a ruined city in the Donbass region to join Ukraine's daring push across the Russian border to Kursk. Recalling the battles for Turetsk, the fighter says that there is a fight there for a pile of ruins since not a single building remains. Sometimes we lost too many people fighting at a distance of a few meters. I don't know what will happen to Pokrovsk, but it will be destroyed in the process. They are fighting for ruins. Sergei said, recalling the doomed battles for cities such as Bakhmut and Soverodonetsk. The command sent reserves to the positions in Toretsk from where Sergei's unit was withdrawn. The fighter believes that his stay in the Kursk region will not end any time soon. We will be here for some time. The expansion of the front line will mean that Russia will have to redeploy more forces here. We hope to give them some more surprises soon, he said. According to Russian war correspondents, Ukraine's 95th Air Assault Brigade encircled units of Russia's 18th Motorized Rifle Division in Malaya, Loknya, Kursk region. Journalists indicate that Ukraine's 95th Air Assault Brigade cornered Russia's 18th Motorized Rifle Division in Malaya, Loknya, using a flanking maneuver to cut off the main road. Notably, Ukrainian fighters have been pressing forward. Our aviation, artillery and drones are in action, but so far they haven't forced the enemy back. Russian war correspondents are cited as saying. Additionally, Russian telegram channel Severny reported that the 810th Marine Brigade was smashed near Korchuk with heavy casualties on the Russian side. Russian war correspondent Kotenok also confirmed the precarious situation for Russian forces in Malaya Loknia. Ukrainian military observer Denis Popovich noted that there will be an operational encirclement. They are setting up a pontoon crossing, for example, and are starting to cross it in order to retreat. 
This pontoon crossing will be under fire. That is, operational encirclement means complicated logistics, difficulties in retreating, transferring reinforcements. It will be very difficult for the Russians to evacuate the wounded. It will be very difficult to provide support because the routes along which all this can be carried out are under fire control. He explained, it is noteworthy that the territory that could be operationally encircled is approximately 700 square kilometers.